Hi everyone, it's Jordan Goodlard. Today we are going to talk about Bloom Taxonomy. This Bloom Taxonomy is also called Domains of Learning. So, what is Bloom Taxonomy? It is a set of three hierarchical models used for the classification of educational learning objectives into levels of complexity and specificity. In 1956, Bloom and his colleagues described three Bloom taxonomy. As I told you earlier, Bloom taxonomy is also called domains of learning. So what is domain? Domain is defined as some kind of interest, activity or thought in a particular field. It's an area of interest or an area over which a person has a control. So there are three hierarchical models. Number one is cognitive domain. Number two is affective domain. Number three is psychomotor domain. One by one, we will elaborate all these three domains. Number one, we have cognitive domain. The cognitive domain is related to or involved in the development of our mental skills and the acquisition of the knowledge. It is involved in the development of intellectual skills. This domain comprises of six levels or the categories, which includes knowledge, comprehension, application, analysis, synthesis, and evaluation. This model can move from top to bottom or bottom to top. At the lower level, we have knowledge. This is the easiest level or the lower level, while the evaluation is the highest or the hardest level. One by one, we will discuss all these six. The first is knowledge. The ability of the student or the learner to remember the things, facts, without Understanding the meaning of it, for example, define, enlist, list, collect, draw, label, recall, recognize. The questions can be like, define energy, enlist the names of the fruits, draw an animal cell. Next level is comprehension. This is the ability of a learner to understand and interpret the materials, things or facts. In the first level knowledge, we talked about the student has the ability to just learn, not actually know the meaning of it. But in comprehension, we think we talked about the ability of a learner to understand and interpret the meanings, the materials, things or facts or the information. For example, Contrast, differentiate, discuss, explain. The questions could be differentiate between the animal cell and the plant cell. Discuss the Roman history. Third, we have application. This is the ability of a learner to use or applicate the materials that he or she has already learned. Here, the student has to use the material into something new situation. For example, produce, predict, solve, use, demonstrate, construct. The questions could be like, use the example of your daily life to answer the following questions. Next we have analysis. This is the ability of a learner to relate the different parts of the whole Student has the ability to distinguish between the different parts and understand the overall structure of something. For example, differentiate, experiment, compare, criticize, contrast. These action verbs can also be related to other levels. But remember, you need to learn the basic meaning of it. Get it? So, questions could be differentiated between the animals and plants. Next level we have synthesis. 
द मीन ऑफ सेंसिस इज टू फॉर्म समथिंग द एबिलिटी ऑफ अ लर्नर टू फॉर्म और मेक समथिंग एज अ होल एट द प्रीवियस लेवल वी डिस्कस दैट द स्टूडेंट हैज द एबिलिटी टू डिफरेंशिएट डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द होल और टू डिस्टिंग्विश डिफरेंट पार्ट्स एंड अंडरस्टैंड द ओवरऑल स्ट्रक्चर बट इन द सेंसिस वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड और फॉर्म द ओवरऑल द ब्रोकन पार्ट्स एज अ होल द एबिलिटी टू ब्रिंग ऑल पार्ट्स टूगेदर टू फॉर्म एज अ होल फॉर एग्जाम्पल डिस्क्राइब नेम रिसाइट रिकोगनाइज मैच रिलेट रिपीट रिप्रोड्यूस स्टेट क्वेश्चन कैन बी स्टेट द डे नाइट मैकेनिक ऑफ प्लांट्स द लास्ट द हाइएस्ट द हार्डेस्ट लेवल इज एवेल्युएशन दिस इज द एबिलिटी ऑफ लर्नर टू जज एवेल्यूएट और वैल्यू समथिंग or know the importance of something examples related to the evaluation level can be rank grade rate defend predict value argue estimate appreciate appraise let's discuss the briefly them all example for the knowledge could be define energy at the second level of comprehension for example explain the mogul history at the third level we have application would apple prevent scurvy next we have analysis compare the online education versus on campus education then we have sentences argue about the tv and the radio and let's discuss which is the best at the last we have evaluation Which kind of apple is suitable for baking an apple pie? Next video would be for the factive domains and psychomotor domains. Thank you so much for listening and learning. Please subscribe Learning with Lar. Bye.